All right, we're with Mike here, a good buddy of mine from when we grew up and we used to do a lot of sledding together. It's going to be a fun night. Doing a quick little loop. We didn't have the Uclear Motion 6 completely installed at this point in the ride. We actually finished the installation later that night. But this is a good example of the importance of safety and communicators. This could all been avoided if we had our Uclear Motion 6 on and been able to warn each other of the impending doom. Are you okay? <laughs> That's I. We all hit it. I know. It's just fucking ice. I did the same thing. Is my sled good? Check yeah. Sled. We're trying to bail. Oh, it's fine. You didn't hit it hard. I. I think he hit it the hardest. Because I saw. I jumped off because I got fucking. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. I fucking saw. Your brake lights, I come up the hill, because I see your headlight in the back of your helmet, I come up the hill, I see your tail lights. I just said, holy fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's ice. I had to, like that, yeah, like, look at how icy it is. Look at where I started braking. I know. I know, you were We fucking right. cleaned that race. The There's nothing you can do. off on the brake hey. the last second. That's funny. Oh, they could take a lot harder hit than that. So just just be careful for shit like that tonight, okay? Yeah. Well, it's never piled like that. That's the thing. It's always been, I went. I came over the hill to do a little wheelie, and then by then it was too late. You know if that's probably for it to probably keep people off the road. Yeah, with yeah. trucks oh, yeah. and shit. On the trail. Look at these trails, though, bud. Oh yeah. The ever-changing vistas of Merry Lake. Oh my goodness, it's rough. This is sketch too, it's uh... That's arguably the worst ride across Mary Lake I've ever had. Jeez. Yeah. That's the worst I've ever seen Mary Lake. It is. I know. <laughs>
the uh, Hill and Gully Riders groomer we just passed. Now it's nice. Yeah. No, they don't. They they haven't had snow all week. Yeah. Yeah. See those corners. I don't want to be coming. We need some, we need some temperatures right around zero minus two. Get this softened up too. Eh? Yeah, it has. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got studs in there. That's good. Oh yeah. It'll help big time. The studs are the key too. Yeah. Right yeah. Right. Yeah, it's warm out, but this oxygen helmet's freaking. I have no balaclava on underneath it, and my face is toasty warm. Like I said, it's about minus four. to look and see what we paid for gas last year but regular is a dollar seven seven right now it's uh, come down a lot diesel still up and uh, I think we paid a buck 17.9 today I believe it was Sweating. It's she's a warm one, Porter. I love that. Oh, there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's cool in there. Yeah. Oh, yours would sound awesome. Huh? That would sound awesome. It really rumbles in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Man, I haven't seen Mike in years. This is great. It's like we we seen each other last weekend, you know? That's the thing, Facebook, I think, makes everything, the world a bit smaller, too, because we chat all the time. I mean, he's commenting on my YouTube channels, and on my YouTube videos, and everything. And he's got a nice Arctic cat, wild cat, uh, side by side. And uh, he's been out of snowmobiling for a few years, and showed me that one, asked me what I thought, and lo and behold, he picked it up, and riding. You can't ask for a better story than that, you know? Whee! It's uh, pretty cool. Snowmobilers uh, are a pretty diehard bunch, well connected and I haven't met many that I'd go, F I'd never ride with you. There's been a couple. For the most part, we all get along and help each other out. And that's what I like about the sport. It doesn't matter how old you are, or, you know, you're welcome to come on the rides. Mike asked me if a buddy could come tomorrow and we go up to Kearney. And, or do you want to keep it a small group? And I said, more the merrier, man. 
you never know what might happen too. Any one of us could have an issue and more people there, it's better to help out. Let's say that incident start where one of us got hurt. One could stay there, the other could go get help or vice versa. And you know, that's when strength in numbers comes into play well when you're out on a pretty dangerous sport like this. It's dangerous, but it's as safe as you want to make it too, you know? We've got communicators and I've got a tech vest on, Drew's got a tech vest and we've got decent equipment, our helmets are near new and Oh, Poppy. So yeah, that makes for a good uh, good time out. But in contrast, this is a year ago. We tried to go out riding with Mike and it was snowing so hard. I almost got T-boned at an intersection. You couldn't record because you couldn't see much past the windshield on the sled. And uh, when I come up over the hill out of the gas station, a guy was coming down the side trail. I had the right of way. I stopped. He didn't. And uh, had I not stopped, he would have T-boned me. The timing was, was right there. So, yeah, I'm glad we came this way. Look at how much smoother the trails are. the single headlight low beam it's kind of cool <laughs> kind of like a tow mater type thing this is kind of like a tow mater sled What's your temperature at? Shut it down. 
What's your temp at? What's your temperature at? Normal. I'm fucking running high. Yeah, mine's I'm running not normal. Hot. I'm just one bar above where I usually. Yeah. Well, we can take a break then. Yep. I don't remember any of this. this is yeah, this is where we stopped that night. Oh yeah, that's definitely closed. Just gonna do a little loop here across Lake Vernon and... Hopefully we'll end up back where... Uh, where we started right there. And that's kind of where Mike had us stage last year. This old girl was running pretty hot. my glasses in this helmet probably wouldn't hurt when I start running maps which hopefully is tomorrow and we'll get the comms working tomorrow we just uh, I put them in the BV2S and it just had too much pressure on Drew's head so we're gonna hone out the foam make a little cavity for the ear pads to sit in and then he should be fine tomorrow I kind of was wondering about that. Most helmets today have have pockets for them to go, like you've seen on the oxygen. Ooh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, the BV-2 didn't. The first BV-2 I had, I've had two of them, that's the third one. The first BV-2 I had was just foam, and then the second one was a newer earpiece that had a thick piece of Lexan, like not Lexan, styrene plastic in the covering on top of the foam. Don't know why. Maybe it helps it not break down, so I'm either going to go behind that styrene or I'm gonna just cut a hole which I think is what I'm gonna do the new Euclear ear pieces are all padded so it'll actually be softer on your head having the Euclear speaker than it is that hard styrene plastic piece so I'll cut in there we should have went that way he'll come back I think it might have been. That's why the ride command's nice, because I would be able to see our blue line. Yeah, we got to that way that does go into Huntsville. 
That way does? That way. Okay, so he's right. Still. Okay. I know. Yeah, you can't go by those. Yeah. Oh, he's going to be mad. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Yeah, those are my eagle lights. Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, I gotta get him in here. Look at this, it sucks. How bright and white he is up there. And it doesn't even, the video doesn't even do it justice. It really doesn't. Those lights are like, you got your high beams on. He's on low right now. You got your high beams on. It's like daylight. And uh, version 2 is out now. So I've got a set of those to put in here. And not sure on the specs, but man, it's they're even better. And they're black. They're pretty cool looking. So I had the excess flap I was going to install and then I was going to... The GPS, which obviously you can see didn't get wired up. I just quickly guessed and picked the wrong two wires, so... I don't know what the answer is on that. i got to find some power under there. Maybe just pull it off of the helmet visor plug cord for what it's worth and power it off of that. And, and then the... Um, Uh, link brackets and never got those installed I've had these things for two months but I never ever got around to it and then you can't cram it all in the day before you leave there's so much other shit going on it's fucked Happy to hear they bottomed out too. So I think the suspension is set right. I love the cushiness of it. Like you don't even feel those. It's just like I remember my Renegade, my back, and it rode. I thought pretty good. I mean, that's the predecessor to our motion was that SC5, and you know, there's it was the leader back then motion obviously raised the bar and it's still the trail suspension today Skiddy uses in the Gen 4 so you know really this sled if I can keep it running should last me a few years but I always get looking at stuff and flipping and ideas and people want to buy them and you know so if you want to buy this shoot me a message it's already done up for you oh here we are on the road on the road again I don't want to go on the road again my sled will overheat because the road is not my friend. I don't want to ride the roads again. Somebody went in the ditch to cool it down. And I don't know the answer. But I wish there was more trails through the bush. You don't want 
to hit those. They'll send you flying. They look fluffy, but they're not. Love it. Hey. I was just I was trying to shut off and take a break. Okay, yeah. It's a beautiful night though, holy cow. Oh, isn't it? Have you gone through there before? No. No, that's the one on the other side, right? Yeah. Lot yeah, oh yeah, that's the nice thing. At the end of the year, the snow was a lot oh, deeper. Oh, you through. can't even hardly get into it. It's pretty cool. Never ceases to impress me, man. That's I love it. Cool, eh? Yeah. That's weird. It just rumbled. I gone through my bike is a video. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's pretty neat. I know. Woo! Well, that was a good ride, boys. Yeah, not bad, eh? If you're into that, I think we did about a hundred. If you're into snowmobiling, I guess it's all right. What's that? If you're into snowmobiling, I guess it's okay. 